the idea that the machinery of justice must be duplicated by an organ of surveillance that would work side by side with it and which would make it possible either to prevent crimes or, if committed, to arrest their authors. The observers must record who left his bench, who was talking, who did not have his rosary or book of hours, who did not comport himself properly at mass, who committed an impure act, who indulged in idle talk or was unruly in the street. Thanks to the techniques of surveillance, the physics of power, the hold over the body, operate according to the laws of optics and mechanics, according to a whole play of spaces, lines, screens, beams, degrees and without recourse, in principle at least, to excess, force or violence. The examination combines the techniques of an observing hierarchy and those of a normalizing judgment. It is a normalizing gaze, a surveillance that makes it possible to qualify, to classify and to punish. It establishes over individuals a visibility through which one differentiates them and judges them. That is why, in all the mechanisms of discipline, the examination is highly ritualized. We have seen that anyone may come and exercise in the central tower the functions of surveillance, and that, this being the case, he can gain a clear idea of the way in which the surveillance is practiced. Surveillance will be perfect if from a central hall the director or head warder sees, without moving and without being seen, not only the entrances of all the cells and even the inside of most of them when the unglazed door is open, but also the warders guarding the prisoners on every floor.